And now, from North Platte High School Studio B, welcome to Bulldog Banner, where we explore the endless possibilities that education brings. This week's episode brought to you by the MPPS Foundation and the Flower Market. I'm Molly Jorgensen. I'm Sam Stefka. And this is a Bulldog Banter. Where we talk about anything MPHS and North Platte. And fun stuff. Today, our guest is the one and only Miss Tapman. Hello. And she is our high school librarian, and a lot of people love to student aid for her. She was a former elementary teacher and also sponsors for Dungeons and Dragons. And apparently, she's created the Buzz Around Makerspace in the library and is a hype girl for all students and things North Flat High School. So, welcome. Oh, thank you. All right, so our first question today, um, you used to be an elementary teacher. What was that like? It was a lot of fun. I taught elementary for 12 years here in North Platte. So oh, I was wow. over at Buffalo for two years, and I taught fourth grade, and then I switched over to Eisenhower and taught there for another 10 years. So it was a lot of fun. Fourth grade was the best because it was Nebraska history. So where we were, we had them build the wagon, and you would do your notable oh, Nebraska yeah. reports. So that was a lot of fun. And then we started to go on the field trip to the Capitol. So we got to do a lot of fun oh, stuff like that. that yeah. And yeah. then right after you transferred over to the high school, is yes. that right? Yep. So what made you want to switch over from elementary all the way to high school? That's a big jump. I had already gotten my master's in curriculum and instruction. And so I was kind of at the point where I felt like I wanted to get another degree. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something where I could like use technology in my classroom more. So I was looking for programs. And Carney had one that was instructional technology. So I could learn about that, but then you could also have like an emphasis in school library. So then I decided to tack that on, like just in case I ever wanted to pursue it. And then I literally graduated with my master's, and the job popped up like a week later. So it, to everything become just, a to become the librarian Dang. here. So I had spent time up here with Mrs. Siri. I had to come and do some like observation hours. So I'd been in here a couple times before, but. Then it just happened to pop up, and at the time we only had three librarians in the whole district, so oh, wow. it's kind of a tough crowd to get into if you wanted. So Excellent. it just kind of happened. Yeah. How long have you been a librarian here? This is my fourth year here. Oh, ever yeah. since COVID. Ever since COVID. Wow. Yep. It's been a long time since COVID. It has been a long time. Did you ever think you'd be working here? I did not. I did graduate from here in 2005. So I spent two years in the old high school, and then I spent two years here. So I was a second class oh. graduate from here. What so what did you like better? Um, the older than the old one was pretty cool. Like you look back on it, and one of the staircases, like the stairs would slope because of like so many people walking up and down. Like it was just like <laughs> worn out. <laughs> and oh, gosh. we did have three like main floors, and then we did have a classroom on the top floor. Like we had one room on the fourth floor, and it was a Spanish room that we had up there, like it was just a Spanish teacher. So it was pretty cool. You had like these big heaters that people hung out. I saw my first fight like down by the art room and they had <laughs> class rings and they were going at it. But the favorite part about the building was the gym because the gym was so small. Mm -hmm. So when ki when everyone came to like watch basketball, like they were packed in. Oh. So and now, so it was super loud. Yeah, oh, yeah. it was yeah. super awesome. loud. Yeah. And then we had like, it also doubled as a stage. So if they did like other performances, so they did have seats down as like, part auditorium, part gym. And so like if you sat up in the stands, they were all made of concrete and you were like packed in, the band was up there, like you had to come early to find a seat. And then some people did sit down like in the auditorium part because you had seats on both sides, but that was pretty cool. I bet. Wow. So I did graduate from this building then and at, not much has changed. It's a lot of the same, like the library, I don't even remember going in there. They had like big heavy curtains up around the windows. Wow. The doors were shut. We didn't really do much on the computers at the time, but yeah, so not a whole lot has changed. Nice. So what was it like, like when the new building was being built, like what was it like switching from the old building right. to the new building? Yeah, they yeah. knocked down part of the old building first when we were still in school. So okay. they had kind of like condensed us into one part and they started knocking it down and building it because they built it over a summer. Oh, okay. And so then I think we ended up having to push school back maybe a week, like they weren't quite done. We came in to like check our schedules and they still had wires and stuff hanging from the ceilings. 
And so we like walked through to like figure out where everything was. And at the time they didn't have like the freshman side classes were just like kind of spread out all over. And so it took some getting used to because you had different parts. The other high school I felt like was a lot longer. Like it felt like you had to go from one part to the other that like I know some have to do here, but um, I was big into band. Mr. Bradley was here for band, so I loved to do band. We did marching band. Mrs. Purdy was actually my choir teacher. Really? Yeah, so she was oh pregnant goodness. with um, Carly when I had her. Seriously? Yes. Okay. She's been here for yep. a long time. She's, wow. We, yep, so <laughs> when she came, she was pregnant, and then we had our musical. I, I was a senior, and we had our musical, and we had to take care of baby Carly in the back because her husband was <gasps> oh. helping backstage. So whoever was not on stage, I think we were doing West Side Story. We all took turns watching Elliot. He was little, and then we had little baby Carly that we were taking care oh, of. Oh, that's so cute. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! I didn't even think she was that old. Or I know it. Been She's been here teaching here for, for a long yeah. time. She has been teaching. So wow. then it was like kind of wild because I still like they're Mr. Bradley and Mrs. Purdy. So like, you look at them and you're like, Yeah, wow, you're my teacher. Yeah, <laughs> like, my teacher. So that was pretty fun. And the biggest difference was like I watch everyone leave for lunch. I think we had like a 45 minute lunch period. So we would have like Taco Tuesday. Everyone would like go get tacos at Taco John's because they were 99 cent tacos. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Yeah. So. So you said you were in band, and then yes. you're, you were also in choir, too. Yes. We had swing choir. Like, now I know they have the show choir, but back then we had swing choir where you, like, you were singing and dancing at the same yeah. time. So you had different competitions you went to. And like Pitch Perfect? Kind of like Pitch Perfect. And sometimes <laughs> we had props. Yes. We had oh. all sorts of different things. And, like, another thing we did was different companies would hire us for their Christmas parties. We would go out and sing at their Christmas parties. So oh, we'd that's like, lit. It was, it was pretty fun. We'd go to some of the different schools sometimes and sing, but, like, yeah, we had different outfits we wore. And So were you in any other activities besides those two? I did marching band, swing choir. I was a part of National Honor Society Key Club. Nice. I played softball my first year. I did a lot of traveling softball, but only played it for a year, and then that was about it. Nice. Yeah. So were um, – Band and choir, just like your most favorite? Yes, I, coming up here, I didn't even know about like the family and consumer science classes and like the digital media because I did, like, we only, I only did choir and band. So oh, then coming up here younger? to work, it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't even have the opportunity to like, I had the opportunity, I just didn't. Like, I loved choir, I did those. Um, PE, we had like freshman PE, sophomore PE, so we didn't have strength. Like, you had a PE class that you had to take. Mm -hmm. We still had the block schedule. So we didn't have as many college classes that you guys are allowed to t are able to take now. But oh, yeah. did yeah. you like the block schedule? I didn't mind it. We still got to have like honor period. We oh, did yeah. um, where we could not intern, but we could go. Like I went to my mom. She worked over at Adams Middle School, and I ate it over there. Like so, we still had student aides, but you mm -hmm. could go to like different buildings and do it. You could oh, go to different cool. elementaries and stuff and do it. Yeah. So that was pretty fun. Oh, nice. Yeah. Was there anything, like, you regretted in high school? Like, you said you kind of regretted not doing, like, family consumer science. Yeah, like some of those classes. Otherwise, no, I felt like I did all the activities that I wanted to do, and I don't know. I felt like high school was pretty fun. Just had okay. enough on your plate? Yes. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite memory? Did you have any? I really liked when we had prom because it was at the Holiday Inn. So we did not Your have prom? our prom here at the gym. They would always rent the Holiday Inn. Oh. So it's always like a big thing and the teachers would like sh like chaperone like they do now, but they always rented like the big room at the Holiday Inn that we would go to for that. And then like I said, like lunches, it was just kind of fun with your friends. I think you could eat out maybe junior and senior year. And so you just had like different groups you went with and it's only fun. senior year, right? Or do they even do that anymore? Now I think it's senior year. You can leave for lunch, oh, but they didn't okay. make it so juniors can too. That was bring it fun. back. It yeah, was for fun. real. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Um, how has or wait? Mm, I just blanked. So. Being a librarian, you probably enjoy reading in your free time, right? I do. 
But do you have like any other hobbies or things you like to do outside of like reading and your kids? Uh, I do like to go to my kids' activities because they're old enough now where I have 12-year-old twins and they're doing like volleyball and basketball, so that's been fun. My husband and I just went to a Husker football game. We like to go and do Ooh, those types of things. I love Husker football. We just went to the Illinois game, so that was pretty fun. And then I would say traveling. We love to travel and go to concerts. So we've been to a bunch of different mm -hmm. concerts. For my daughter's birthday, we drove to Chicago and went to Harry Styles. <gasps> oh, when was that? that? Recent? A couple years ago, yeah. So that was about two years ago. Again, for their Christmas, I have most of my kids have their birthdays in December. So then we decide to go on little trips instead of buy Christmas gifts. So right. we pick a concert. I gotcha. Yeah. Nice. What's your favorite concert band ever? <sighs> Mr. Willie. I have <laughs> seen. <gasps> I actually, I've seen Adele a couple different times. She was wonderful. <laughs> Adele. Adele. I've seen Pink. I've seen <laughs> Harry Styles. We saw Chris Stapleton. He's really good. Oh, oh I, I want to see him. So the bad. one him concert I want to go to is Chris Stapleton. Over the summer, my husband and I went and saw Garth Brooks in Las Vegas. Oh, he nice. was good. We saw George Strait. There's just been, it is my all time. I did see Bruno Mars several, several years ago. He was so good. I, so I, good. I feel like yeah. he'd always be. You great. just danced the whole entire time that you were there. So. So what's up with Willie and Adele? He See. has some very strong opinions and doesn't think she's the perfect angel that she is. Oh. What? I know, but it's fine. What? Our friendship might be able to overlook it, but we're allowed. Hopefully, to you have guys our have a great opinions. chat after this. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so she's good. What's one concert that you want to go to? Like cross off your bucket list. Yeah. I've seen so many, I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna age, I would love it if like NSYNC got back together and I could go see NSYNC. Cause I've seen the Backstreet Boys. All right. Oh, and well, I've seen Hanson. Yeah, if they just like got back together good. all of a sudden. If they got back together, cause you know, Justin is touring. Yeah. I would love to go see NSYNC. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I did see Britney Spears in Vegas as well. I've okay. just seen a lot, yeah. Yeah, you're a big well, concert gal. It's been on. fun, yes, the best hobby. Fine. So in the library, um, there's a lot of different like decorations and stuff that you always put up. So what's going on with the band books right now? Yeah. What's that all about? It is band books week. So okay. what happens is across the nation, across the world, people find different reasons to try to challenge a book. Reasons why they think that books shouldn't be in the public library, school library settings. Oh, really? And so then they'll go to the school board, different places to try to get books banned from kids. And so what we do is, as librarians, we kind of celebrate it because some of these are books that are classics that have been read for, you know, years and years, years and years. Yeah. Looking through the list, they've tried to ban Harry Potter because of magic and sorcery. They've tried banning Goosebumps because it might be too scary. Yeah. Like, they just have different opinions on things. Um, the Hate You Give is one where, you know, different... Um, racism and just language and stuff like that. A lot of it's like profanity where people just have strong opinions about books that they don't think should be allowed for Kinda kids like to read. what's going on with so Song of the South. Yes, yeah. yep. And so if you look, it's funny, like a lot of the books that are banned, you know, we have and a lot of libraries have because it's important to allow kids to read, you know, different things and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just feel like it gives kids kind of an idea of like history too, yeah, like right. what it was like yeah. at one point in time. Yep. Yeah, it was funny because someone came in looking for a book today. They're like, "I read it; it's so good." And I was like, "It is actually over here on our banned books display." So, oh my gosh, this book is banned! It's so good. I was like, "Ah." So it is actually like banned in our library. It's not in our library. What it is is like a list of books that people have tried to ban, like across the world. Oh, okay. So it okay. might be banned in this library, like in Florida or over in Germany, like people try to ban books mm -hmm. for, and that doesn't necessarily mean it will go through. So we just, some of the reasons why people try to have them banned and not in the libraries are their opinions, but yeah. Do you just have like a little cart of them or? They're actually just sprinkled in throughout everything. But what we did for this week is we pulled them and then put, I made up a little sheet to go on there to like show what the book looked like, why people think you shouldn't be able to read it. So then there's just a whole display with caution tape over it. Oh, and then we hung cool. up some of those pictures in the hallway. Just, it's a good conversation because kids come in and they'll read it and they'll be like, oh my gosh, I don't think this should be banned or Harry Potter and right, Twilight. Yeah. They've tried to ban Twilight. So... Yeah, it's just kind of fun. It like makes you more aware of re things like that. So, right. Yeah. 
So what's your favorite part about being a librarian? I miss working with younger kids mm -hmm. and like some of the people I worked with at Eisenhower, but I love it because I've seen all the kids that I've taught up here. Right, mm -hmm. you've so seen you them all grow I've up. I've seen them all grow yeah. up. And so that's like with the student aiding part, it's it's fun because some of them are ones that I've taught or mm -hmm. others are kids that I've gotten to know because they've started coming in with different kids. So that's been a lot of fun is still seeing them, seeing a lot of the kids that I've taught. And actually next year, the freshmen coming in will be the last class that I've taught. Really? Yes. Oh, that's kind of sad. Like, it is kind of sad. Bittersweet. Yeah. It is. I When I started up here, I was like, it's going to be a while before I don't have a class that I haven't taught, but it'll actually be next year the freshmen will be the Jeez. last one. So. I mean, you'll still have them for four years. I'll still have them for four years. Once but they're gone, it's, yep. it's going to be a yep. change because you're not going to know anyone coming in. Yeah. I was actually supposed to be my daughter's teacher's. My my twins were supposed to be in fourth grade, and uh -huh. then I ended then up switching this year. Oh, were they right. mad? They were kind of mad about it, and so they'll bring it up from time to time. And I'm like, actually, how cool is it going to be when your mom is with you for four yeah. entire years at the high school? And I don't think they're going to think it's that cool, but I do like to remind them, man, instead of a year, you get me for four. Yeah. But they probably won't think it's as cool as I think. How old are your kids now? I have twins that are 12, mm -hmm. and they're in seventh grade at Adams. And then I have a fourth grader, a boy named Mason. And then I have a kindergartner. My youngest just started kindergarten. Oh. So. What do they do? What kind of hobbies? Or the girls are into sports. They like volleyball. They like basketball. Okay. Mason likes to do everything. He's doing flag <laughs> football. He likes basketball. He likes soccer. He did traveling soccer over the summer. Oh, oh wow. that's awesome. Likes to do it all. Yes, he likes to do it all. And then Gemma, she just gets dragged to everything because she's the youngest. <laughs> and so she did gymnastics for a little bit. She did soccer. She thought that was fun. She does, like, have Taylor Swift concerts in our family room. Oh, like, she much big every night. Awesome. She'll put on her gymnastics leotard and, like, turn, up, turn on a song and do a dance. So <laughs> she's actually going to be Taylor Swift for Halloween. <laughs> so. Oh, my gosh. Have you guys been to a Taylor Swift concert? I have been to a Taylor Swift concert. Not the most recent. Oh. I did not get tickets. But, <laughs> no, I went. I was actually pregnant with her, so I told her it kind of counted. But... Yeah. No, we didn't go to her most recent. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> or those tickets, like, crazy expensive? It was oh, crazy. Yeah. And they were hard. Yes. I did have two in my cart, and they were, like, nosebleeds. And my sister's like, I bet we'll do better tomorrow. And I was like, okay, if you think. And, like, deleted them, and then they were gone. And I was like, yeah. But we ended up going to vacation that week anyways to lick our wounds. So oh, it was right. so it didn't <laughs> even. It was okay. Yeah. But. So is there anything you wished more people knew about our library? I want everyone to know it's a welcoming space to come, do your homework, work on something, have free time, check out a book. One big thing I think some kids don't know is we do have a reading challenge. Like if you read your book, and it could be a book from home even, I don't care. But if you come in and talk about it, I do have these posters behind our desk that if your book falls into that category and you talk to me about it or Miss Francisco, then we do have different reading prizes for kids down in the library. We oh. have pens, we have stickers, we have keychains, we have airhead, taffy, stuff like that. So That's awesome. Yeah. I actually didn't even know that. And it's that. for everybody. Yeah, so if you are into reading or if you're not sure what book to get, you should stop on and we can help you because one of the challenges is to read a book recommended by the librarian. So oh, really? if you do that, then So yeah. is it just like a long list of like books you librarians recommend and then like what I what did else? was I kind of looked at like this pop sugar reading challenge and one was like read a book with dragons in it. So that covers like a lot of the fantasy books that oh. kids like to read. So if you read a book and it had a dragon in it and you've read the whole thing and you come talk about it, then you'd qualify. Sometimes kids come in and they're like, oh, I don't know what to read. And if it's a book I recommend, then that kind of fell into it. Um, one of them is a book that the title is a complete sentence. So different things like that. Or there's one where it's like a book that involves divorce, a book that involves a game. So just different things like that. If you figure out that that was in your book, then you'd qualify so for the you reading have challenge. To, that's part of the challenge is that the reader has to figure out if that was a part of the... Like sometimes uh -huh. they'll come up and I'll be like, how was your book? And they're like, oh, it was pretty good. And I was like, let's take a look. Like, did it have dragons in it? And they're like, no. And then they'll start reading it. It'll be like, it had a game though. Like they were football. They oh. played football. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay. So then they talk about it and then they can pick out a different prize. Uh, so okay. yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. it's not like more they... in a reading. 
Yeah, it's not like it has to be a specific yeah. where it has to be from a list. Like you can pick any book you want and sometimes it falls underneath the challenge and sometimes it doesn't, but it's just kind of fun, something different. Cause with high schoolers, it can be hard. Like elementary, you have book it, you get the pizza coupon mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's <laughs> yeah. thinking of that. different, yeah. <laughs> thinking of different ways, you know, to get kids excited about reading. So it might yeah, be something that is small, a good way. Yeah. something fun. All right, to wrap everything up, do you have like any final pieces of advice for like high schoolers, readers, anyone? I would say have fun and honestly work hard because I see the stuff that you guys are doing and it amazes me. So just keep it up and don't get behind on your work, get it done when it's due, but have fun and it's gonna be over before you know it. All right, well, thanks for having us, or thanks for coming on here. <laughs> thanks for having me. Um, yeah, and this is Bulldog Banter and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.